I, I, I think I probably play like every sport possible. Um, I played, uh, but the sports that I really took like and played a lot of was actually softball. I was a pitcher and then ice hockey. So I played ice hockey with boys growing up all through high school and then I played division one for a couple years and then professionally in Canada and Switzerland. So that was like my, you know, my sport was hockey. Uh, I really didn't know what M <coughs> MMA was until I started training it, uh, which was, shoot, October 2008. And I walked into an MMA gym to do kickboxing just to get back into shape in downtown LA. And um, I'd heard a little bit about jiu-jitsu in Hawaii. I had a friend who did jiu-jitsu and he showed me a couple things, but I really didn't like understand it. And uh, so when I started training MMA is when I started kind of understanding it, who knowing like, you know, learning about the fighters, UFC. Like if before walking in that gym, if someone would have said, do you know what UFC stands for? I wouldn't have known. My first fight was in uh, Council Bluffs, Iowa, for a good show called Victory Champions, uh, Fighting Championships. And it was the first female pro fight for that card ever, for that promotion. And um, my manager got me the fight. I had been trying to get amateur fights, but it wasn't, they kept falling through. I think just being the persona of being at Jackson's, it was really difficult. And um, not saying I was scary, but just the name. So I was like, you know what? I get, I'm getting beat up every day in the gym by like the top girls, the top guys. I have the best coaches. I'm ready. So I went in there and um, I was really excited. I kept waiting. I was like, am I gonna get nervous? Like, and I like walking into the arena and I'm like, the guy over here, I'm nervous. I'm like, really? I'm not. This is my first fight. I was so excited to finally get a chance to show what I had been learning. I love every bar part of it. I love training. I love you know, waking up and being exhausted and pushing through that and getting here. I get so excited when I know that I'm coming to the gym. Like, I, I've i never felt passion for anything like I feel for, for MMA. Um, like jujitsu, I wanna do till I'm 100, if I live to 100. You know, like, I wanna be that old lady that's like whooping on the kids. You know, like, that's that's what I wanna do just because I, I love it so much. So my motivation is is my love for the sport. Um, I also feel that I do inspire other people. A lot of my friends, family members throughout my life, you know, find me on Facebook or whatever, and they're like, you know, Heather, you said you were gonna do it, and you really did. And that, just follow through, follow through with something, or following through with something is, is meaningful. Because even if it's MMA or whatever, a lot of people say they wanna do stuff and they don't. So, inspiring in that way. Um, you know, I think women's MMA uh, is just so growing so fast. So, you know, I think it's such a great time to be doing it. MMA is better than boxing because you're not just getting constant battle, you know, hitting to the head. But I, I, I do notice um, changes, you know, with uh, memory and, and certain things and my excuses. I get hit in the head a lot. So, you know, yeah, there, there is. But with anything, with any sport, you're going to take damage and uh, I feel you know, it's just part of the game and I'm not doing it my whole life. I think the biggest part is for kids. I really think when your brain is still growing and developing, um, that's when you're going to find that you have the most problems. You know, like, but when I played ice hockey, I got hit way more. I had way more concussions and stuff from that than, than anything here. I had to go against guys your size, you know, 200 pound, 250 guys that were line, linemen and, and for USC. And I'm sitting there as a defenseman trying to put my head down and drive him out of the, in front of the net. And it's like, you know, and they can hit me as hard they, as they want. So when I get in the cage with a girl my size, I'm like, <laughs> oh, you know? No, not quite, but you know it. Yeah. Um, I'd say just becoming a successful MMA fighter. You know, I, I started um, with, <clears throat> excuse me, with no background in, in the sport and, and coming so far in, this, in the small amount of time that I have. My last fight was in Bellator in March, and um, that was a big, big thing for me. You know, I remember calling. I called my ex-boyfriend, who is now in the UFC, and when we met, he had he was fighting out of his weight class. He had three dollars to his name. He went from there to winning the Ultimate Fighter, getting in the UFC, and then I had no fights when we met. So then I went from no fights to being in Bellator and XFC, and you know, it's we both talk to each other about how you know it's amazing that with hard work and dedication you know dreams come true and I'm pretty happy in in, in those accomplishments um, even if 
my record's not the best right now. Every fight that I've lost, I put, you know, put my heart on the line. I've got like fight of the night. I broke my arm my last fight in uh, the second round. I finished the fight with a broken radius, you know. So I'm kind of proud of that. I am. <laughs> I moved here three months ago and uh, I was at Jackson's. Great, 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 great place. The reason I moved to Syndicate was um, I had worked with John and I really do like him as a coach. I also like Fredson uh, Pashow, who's an amazing jiu-jitsu coach. I felt that I needed a change um, with work, so I came out here to open a photography studio. So that was a, an also a big plus, but um, I don't know. I just, I, I do like the atmosphere. I like the family orientation of, of the gym, um, that there's everything you need within the one gym, you know, uh, yeah, I have all good things to say about it. I'm happy. I'm happy here.